hello everyone welcome back the today video is about curie scope so first understand that what is curie scope so curie scope is basically constraint when we are fetching some result from the database we want to apply some condition on the result so let's uh, understand it with an example so i have uh, seeded 10 user with votes so every user have different vote the first second one is two the third one is 11 so i have 10 result in the database so i want to fetch only those users who have votes less than or less than by 10 now scopes comes and solve our issue so there is two types of scopes in the laravel the first one is global scope and other one is local scope so their names are very descriptive so global scope is a scope where you implement this scope and whenever you query uh, to the database it will apply this scope on all queries and local uh, scope is a scope which you implement on a specific query so first understand this uh, global scope with real time project uh, this is our uh, application so let's go to the app directory and here you need to create a scopes directory as uh, uh, per laravel documentation okay documentation says that you need to create a directory of this scopes so let's go here and create a directory in this uh, app directory so it's a scopes and here you need to create your own scope so how you can create the scope uh, it's a uh, very clearly documented right so let's go here and create a file so which scope you want to create i want to create a user scope so i am implementing this on the user model that's why i i am naming this user scope right user scope dot uh, here you need to create a php file right and uh, let's go to the documentation and you need to copy this so uh, namespace and do uh, this it so first of all put the php symbol and uh, then you need to define a class here so class name should be this you define this in the scope directory so it's a user user scope and uh, it's a uh, implements uh, the scope right and uh, here you need to uh, add a method which method this one apply method so it's so a builder installing this builder and model right so here you need to write your column so in our case it's a votes column so let me show it to you that it's a user table and we have this uh, votes direct uh, votes table right so votes right i want to grab all the users where votes less than by 10 right where votes less than 10 so save this one and now you need to implement this uh, scope in your model so we are implementing this on the user model so let's go to the user model and uh, implement this so here you need to define protected so you can also watch it from the documentation it's clearly documented okay in the user you need to override this booted method right so define here protected it's a static function static and uh, it's oops i think i am doing no i'm not doing this wrong it's uh, booted and here you need to uh, add this scope right so it's a static static and then it's a method of add global scope and uh, what is the scope name of uh, in our case it's a user scope so let's call this user scope so it's uh, added the namespace at the top if did not add it you can add this manually right it's added and whenever i will query the query from the database it will fetch those user which scope have uh, which votes less than 10 so save this one and go here and give it refresh so for now i'm uh, returning 10 users so let's get refresh so it will not return this 11 and stuff like that so give it refresh and yes it's returning vote one two four and four nothing else so it means that it's so uh, uh, checking that how many votes the user have right 
so if i uh, go to this uh, scope and uh, change its uh, from less than to greater than so now it will grab those user who, who have votes less than 10 so let's give it refresh and yes now it's fetching 11 19 16 and stuff like that so it means that uh, our uh, global scope is successfully working so whenever you applied this uh, uh, this scope in your model so it will apply all the queries when you type this uh, user uh, model and get uh, the information from the user uh, user table so it will get all the queries according to this constraint why because we added this in our global scope so global means it's globally uh, applied on all the uh, all the queries right so hopefully you understood that uh, concept so in the next video we will discuss about local scope and implemented so thank you so much for watching subscribe to the youtube channel and stay connected Bye -bye.